Looking through my old photos, did I find the unmistakable face of Toki Nishikawa. Three years after Saitama Sakai, representing Chuo University in this now legendary event, which saw so many of its fighters turn pro. That he did in March last year, straight in at Division 4, scoring big in every meet he finished, before downing Ryuden for the January 2022 third tier title. Days later was he paraded to the crowd as the retiring Goedo's star pupil. Weeks later would he follow the ex Goedo from Sakaigawa to the newly formed Takekuma stable, to which I then took you. Three weeks after that was he back to his and Goedo's hometown of Osaka to push for salaried promotion, with as few as four wins needed. The first of those came straight away against ex-uni teammate Yota Kanno, before I came to town. But from match two, when thrust over by fellow promotion chaser Tochimaru, problems began to mount. The first bout of his I saw was with 2020 university champion Or Shoma. and saw him dragged into a belt battle best avoided. Held in place with a rare cross-body right, then flung with outside left. 2016 All Japan Amateur Finalist Fukai took note. And the match, with an outside left throw of his own after deft switch of feet. Perhaps it was time for Gloria Gaynor to play. Whatever Nishikawa's survival method, the result was quite something. Match 5 was one big focused attempt to avoid any type of left grip. His right coming in hard and staying there to eventually trigger the throw. Next up was 2008 uni champion Jo Koryu, who I just learned is joint Saitama Sakai record holder for a squat, 300 kilos on the shoulders. But Joe Cordu's squatting knees, notably the right, are not what they were, driven back until resolve snapped in place of ligaments. A nice separation and charge from Nishikawa at the end. Which meant the bid for glory was back on. This for win number four against a man with weaker knees than Joe Cordu's. And it was B's knees from Nishikawa, gripping with the right, hitting up with the left, angling attacks from the right diagonal. Two wins over salaried foes, three on the bounce, and four overall. Promotion criteria met. But what are mere criteria in the realm of promotion politics? Conducted by at least some coaches who take much time to raise their first salaried star. And Nishikawa, I suspect, became secondary to the galling sight of a rookie coach 
splitting from his stable, taking one uni star along, promptly recruiting another, and just weeks later walking away with a Division 4 champion and salaried fighter, despite playing little or no developmental role in either. All that, plus the tendency to protect Division 2 strugglers, rendered Nishikawa's rise unlikely. And when the short list of promoted names was released post-meet, Nishikawa's was absent, meaning no perfect gift for his 24th birthday on April 7th. Instead, he now finds himself needing four more wins in May to seize the salaried prize, only this time with no home support. It is back to the colder confines of Tokyo, where his name is lesser known. For now.